it's hot. My head is pounding. All these fucking morals, they don't stand too much when you have $900,000 to think about. I don't remember Kathmandu ever being this hot. The Black Prince. He thought Nepal was too backwards for democracy. The Black Prince controls every aspect of the black market in Nepal. Army trucks with police escorts full of heroin marked with do not scan stickers. And tricky Dick Nixon paid for it all. I got sent a bunch of clothes. They want me to play a member of the technical staff. It became obvious that the Black Prince wasn't really asking. He was telling. I need to talk to my friend Patrick about this. I can't seem to get him on the phone. I can't do this. But you can't say I can't do this to a king. Especially one with an army of Gurkha soldiers behind him. My head still hurts from the heat. Kathrapali, my agent. He needs to call me soon. I need to know the details. And it takes a lot to make this man happy. He's got a sort of face you'd imagine after listening to Iggy pop backwards. Even his mouth hangs down to his chin in a backwards smile. I had lunch with him not even a few hours ago. He wants me to ship a few grams of drugs. I can do this. Specifically 150 kilos of drugs. I can do this, but it takes time and work. Turns out the Royal Soccer Team is competing at the Olympics in LA. The Prince spoke to my associate in Nepalese and then directly to me. Specifically 150 kilos of grade A fine cut heroin. Every which way I turn, he's looking at me. Call it paranoia if you must, but paranoia always seems real when you can't relate it to anything that makes sense.